How's it going everybody? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson and today I've got a cool little uh, lick slash exercise that incorporates uh, alternate picking, legato, and string skipping. So right now Guitar Control is giving away this really awesome uh, daily practice routine to improve your lead guitar chops. This was put together by our very own Silvio Gazquez, a two-time a guitar idol finalist. This routine covers the four main concepts that are uh, necessary for lead guitar. Alternate picking, legato, sweet picking, and tapping. All the tabs and exercises are all included in this free ebook. Uh, there's a link in the description where you can get yours. So be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs and let's get close up and take a look at this. Alright, so we're going to divide this into uh, three pieces. So our first one here is all on the high E string. And with the fourth fret with my first finger, then the fifth fret with my second finger, and then the seventh fret with my fourth finger. All right, so there's a few different ways that you can do this, um, but the, the main way that I always play it and why I've always practiced it because it just because it combines these different elements and makes for a good exercise uh, is I'll I'll pick this first note here on the 4th fret, the 5th fret, and then the 7th fret, and then I'm going to pull back off. So, so down, up, down, pull, pull. Alright, and then from there, uh, we're going to move down to the G string. We're going to skip over the B string, and we're going to come down here to the G string, and we're on the same frets is that we were on the high E string. So first finger on the fourth fret, uh, second finger on the fifth fret, and fourth finger on the seventh fret. And when we come to here, now we're going to start at the seventh fret. And we're going to go from the seventh fret to the fifth fret to the fourth fret, and then back up. And we're going to pick all of that. So. All right, so if we think of this as part one, what we do on the high E string, and then part two, what we do on the G string, then that leaves part three. So for part three, um, it's gonna be actually on the B string. So how this pattern goes is we start off on the high E, down to the G string, then we move back up to the high E and we do that same thing again. Now we're going to go to the B string, but we have to shift down a half step. So now our first finger will be taking care of the third fret on the B string. Our third finger will be taking care of the fifth fret. And our fourth finger will be taking care of the sixth fret. And we're going to do that same thing here where we're going to start off like we did on the G string. We're going to pick all of these notes and we're going to start on the sixth fret. So it'll be six, five, three, five, six and then the whole sequence would just repeat. And then just start over again. All right, so there's different ways that you can do it. Like there you can, like I was doing, I was alternate picking the whole thing. But the reason that I like to, because that way it gives some practice with the legato and then alternate picking and I'm having to skip over the string. So if, if these uh, techniques are new to you, then how I would recommend that you, you start off is just, just doing the, just the E string part first. Just, you know, work on that. Now, don't worry about trying to play it quickly. So even if you're just like... That's totally fine. Then, go to the G string. Practice that. And put it together. All 
right, so after you have that part, then do with the same thing with the other part. So this part is a little bit more challenging uh, because you're having to shift your hand position down. And here, you're only having to skip over the string, which can be a challenge if you're uh, if you haven't really worked on it before. But I just think it's a really cool sounding uh, uh, lick. Uh, where I got this from was uh, the uh, Paul Gilbert um, uh, instructional video, the very first one he did. Um, at the beginning of it, during the opening credits, he plays that sequence, but it's a lot longer. And um, But I just found that this portion of it, This portion of it's a good exercise. All right, so there you have it. Uh, a fun, um, cool sounding uh, lick uh, slash exercise that's going to help you uh, cover different techniques, you know, using, you know, getting all four of your fingers in there, uh, uh, common shapes of, you know, half step and whole step, whole step and half step, string skipping, legato, alternate picking, it's all in there. So it's a really great uh, exercise, I think. And it sounds really cool. It's like a really cool sounding lick. So if you like this lesson, be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this or other guitar related topics. Uh, if you have not already done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that we upload throughout the week. Well, that is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.